स्टूडेंट्स आप कुछ बात करेंगे अबाउट द सर्विसेज दर आर प्रोवाइडेड बाय द टेलीफोन कंपनीज स्टूडेंट्स देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ सर्विसेज दर आर नॉर्मली प्रोवाइडेड बाय द टेलीफोन कंपनीज द फर्स्ट टाइप इज कॉल्ड द एनालॉग सर्विसेज एंड देन यू गॉट द डिजिटल सर्विसेज स्टूडेंट्स इन द केस ऑफ एनालॉग सर्विसेज यू गॉट एनालॉग स्विस्ट सर्विसेज योर डायलप दैट यू यूज टू हैव इन द पास्ट योर एट और योर टोल फ्री सर्विसेज योर वॉट्स ऑल ऑफ दोज आर एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ एनालॉग स्विच सर्विसेज students you also have analog leased services in which you can actually lease an analog line from a telephone company and use it for a point to point or a dedicated connection between two distinct points or between your offices for example if you are using it for a business students in the case of digital service the first one is called switched 56 service which is nothing but an equivalent service of the analog uh, switch service the digital equivalent digital service is switched 56 service and the reason is called switched 56 is because because it can provide data rates of up to 56 kilobits per second so then you have digital data service or dds which is which is an equivalent of your analog leased service and students you are able to achieve um, using this dds you are able to achieve data rates of up to 64 kilobits per second ab students kuch baat karenge about the dsl aapki textbook mein um there is a, an example of a dial up service as well because uh, but because we are way past the 56k modems and using those dial up services we will skip that discussion if you want to go through that uh, please have a read of the dial up service in your textbook but we'll jump on to the uh, dsl service or digital subscriber line students um after the traditional dial up modems they reached their peak data rates if you remember 56k modem was able to support data rates of up to 33.6 kilobits per second which was not enough for the type of data that we want to transmit in the uh, on the modern networks so students after that happened the telephone companies they developed another technology which was called as dsl or digital subscriber line students digital subscriber line it supports high speed digital communication over the existing um, twisted pair lines students there are multiple variants of dsl which are represented by just changing the first uh, letter of the dsl technology it's adsl uh, vdsl hdsl and sdsl uh, and we are going to talk about the first one which is the adsl or asymmetric dsl students as you can see on the slide in the case of adsl it uses the existing telephone lines as the local loop so your as you can see your uh, subscriber for voice is using the same local loop that we have but as you can see in this case adsl reaches a data rate that was uh, we were not able to achieve by using the same twisted pair with the dial up modems and students the reason for that is that our telephone line is actually capable of carrying approximately 1.1 megahertz but in the case of dial up modems we used to have some filters that are installed at the end um, offices students and when those filters were employed which were installed in the uh, in the telephone offices we used to have the bandwidth confined to 4 kilo kilohertz only which we used for our voice channels in the case of um dial up service for voice communication so students if these filters are now removed what we can do is we can use um you know the available bandwidth of approximately 1.104 megahertz to provide high speed data services using this um tsl line now students um out of this 1.104 the 0 to 4 kilohertz is used for voice and then the rest of it you can use it for an upstream channel for your up link data communication and then you can have the 138 kilohertz to about 1.104 megahertz or 1104 kilohertz to be used for your um downstream channel up students adsl 
It allows the subscriber to use the voice channel and the data channel at the same time. Dial-up may this was not possible. Dial-up ke case may if you remember, if your phone line was busy when you are using it via a dial-up modem, then the voice channel could not be used. In the case of DSL or ADSL, particularly asymmetric DSL, that's why it's called asymmetric as well. You can use the voice channel and the data channel at the same time. Students, the data rate that is achievable for the upstream, it can reach up to 1.44 um, megabits per second. But because of interference and, and stuff, it is normally lower. And what we get is 500 kilobits per second normally. In the case of your downstream, the, the data channel, um, the data rates of up to 13.4 megabits per second are possible, but we actually get only uh, 8 Mbps using the, the DSL technology. Students, so we have got a, in this case, you use, uh, your subscriber use, it, it needs to use an ADSL modem to then connect to the ADSL line. And students, uh, you have, a, because we are using voice and data on the same link, we need to use a splitter that splits the voice um, channel and the data channel, and then we use the same local loop use uh, that we used for the, for the dial-up uh, to connect to a DSLAM. This DSLAM is nothing but your digital subscriber line access multiplexer. So this is a multiplexer that has got um, multiple local loops coming into it, and then it ultimately connects you to your telephone network for voice and via a router to your internet via an internet. This is actually your internet gateway, and you will find out what this gateway is when you go through the computer networks course. Via this internet gateway, it connects you to the internet for your data connection. So you can ha have data and voice at the same time using asymmetric DSL.